everyone and a welcome to the Charlie's Nala YouTube channel. My name's Amanda and I am one of the brand ambassadors here at Charlie's Nala. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a Tinkerbell inspired design using acrylic and a couple of different items that you can pick up from Charlie's Nala. I will leave all of the items I've used in the description box below. So do check that out as well as a link to the Charlie's Nala website and also a discount code which can get you 10% off your order. So let's jump in to the nails. On the first nail, I want to do a three color ombre. So I'm coming in with my lilac shade to begin with, and I've placed a small bead down at the cuticle area, and then I'm just blending it out. Now I want you to build this color up a little bit more. So I come in with another small bead of acrylic, and I also want the fade to blend more down one side. So as you can see on that left side, I've brought the fade down a little bit further. Then I'm coming in with my second bead of a color. Then when I place this pink down, as you see, I blended it back first into the purple before bringing it down the nail. Just tapping the acrylic into place, keeping it all nice and thin because we're gonna be adding glitter on top and then encapsulating. So we don't want this first layer to be too bulky. Same as before, I'm just coming in with a second bead of acrylic to build up that color a little bit more. And again, bringing the acrylic further down on the left side compared to the right side, just because that was the effect I was going for for this nail because our glitter is gonna sweep across those blends. Then at the tip of the nail, I'm coming in with this pretty mint green shade. And again, just applying that exactly the same as before, blending it back slightly and then walking it down towards the very tip of the nail. I like to work in quite small beads when I'm doing an ombre just to see how well the colors will fade together. And then if I need to build up the color anymore, I can just come in with further beads of acrylic like I did there. Now this ombre, the blends don't need to be perfect because we're gonna be covering them with a little bit of glitter. So here I'm using that joyful glitter mix. I love this glitter mix because I love anything iridescent and this one is a really pretty color. But I also really love this particular glitter mix because it's a multi-cut glitter mix. So when you're doing designs like this, I find these a lot easier to use because you've got the finer glitter pieces mixed in with your chunkier glitter pieces. So I'm picking up the raw glitter using a teeny tiny wet bead of clear acrylic. As you can see, I've got that bead of acrylic on my brush and I dip it into the raw glitter. Then I'm keeping my brush quite full of monomark so that I'm able to move that glitter around without too much of it sticking into my brush. Then if I feel that I want to pick up some more glitter or some more chunkier pieces, I just dip into that glitter using my raw brush and place those pieces down where I want them to go. Then on top of our glitter, I wanted to tap on some of these iridescent AB stars. So I've just tipped a couple of these out onto my paper towel because I find them a lot easier to pick up that way compared to picking them out of a pot. And I'm just using my wet brush to pick these up. I'm not picking up any additional acrylic because that acrylic and glitter underneath is still tacky. I'm gonna allow those glitters to set in place before encapsulating. So for now, I've moved on to the second nail in this design. And on this nail, I'm gonna be doing a marble. So to begin with, I've double dipped into the green and purple just to get a nice neat cuticle line. Then I'm coming in with all three colors. And as you can see, I'm picking up my beads of acrylic quite wet, just because I find them a lot easier to marble this way. Then I'm cleaning off my brush, bringing it to a point and just running it through those three colors to create the marble effect. So I'm gonna continue doing this down the nail until the nail is fully covered in the acrylic. So same process as before, three wet beads and then just marbling through them. You can create so many different effects with an acrylic marble. So definitely play around with it and have some fun with it. There's not necessarily a wrong or right way to do it. Another thing to bear in mind when you are doing an acrylic marble is you don't want this to be too thick if you're gonna be applying your glitter over the top because you're gonna to need to encapsulate that glitter in and encapsulate the marble. So you don't wanna end up with a too thick bulky nail. So work as thin as you can. Now that I'm happy with my acrylic marble, I'm gonna come in again with that joyful glitter mix. Now, because I don't want to add too much of this and because my acrylic is still tacky, I'm not picking up this glitter with any acrylic. I'm just picking it up with my wet brush. So I'm dipping my wet brush into the raw glitter, trying to focus on just picking up some of the finer glitter pieces. And then I'm just running this through the acrylic marble. Now, if you find this a little bit tricky to do, you could use a, just a fine mix rather than a multi-cut 
mix, but because I wanted to use the same glitter so the design tied together, you could pop some of this glitter into a little glitter tray and then it's a little bit easier just to pick out the finer glitter pieces. And then I wanted to add in some of those iridescent AB long stars. So again, I'm just tapping them on, pressing them into that acrylic so that they hold in place. Again, I'm going to put that now aside so that our glitters can set in place before encapsulating. Sometimes you can find that if you encapsulate straight after applying your glitter, you'll end up moving it around. So I like to just leave it, move on to the next now, and then do all of the encapsulating at the end. On this particular now, I'm just going to be doing a full color acrylic nail because we're going to be applying our Tinkerbell charm to this nail. And I really wanted that Tinkerbell charm to pop. So I decided to just pop it over a plain base. So I'm applying my acrylic color quite thin because I'm going to encapsulate this but I'm just trying to make sure that my color is nice and opaque and that the coverage is nice and even so I'm working my way up the nail applying a thin layer of the acrylic being really careful if you were working on a client or yourself when you're working around that cuticle area and as you can see I'm always running my acrylic brush over the acrylic just to try and make the application as smooth as possible. If you have any areas where the acrylic doesn't look as even or as opaque then you can come in with another bead of acrylic like I did there. Now that our glitters have set in place I'm going to come in and encapsulate. So because I'm encapsulating quite chunky glitter pieces I like to run my wet brush over the nail first of all. This is just going to help that acrylic flow around those chunky pieces. Then I'm working with a clear acrylic just to fully encapsulate this nail. Now when it comes to encapsulating I like to work slightly wetter with my acrylic just because I then find that it flows around all of those glitter pieces nice and easily. So again, I'm just working my way up the nail, making sure that everything is fully encapsulated. When you're working with, or when you're encapsulating glitters, you need to make sure they are fully encapsulated. Otherwise, when it comes to filing, you're gonna file into them or you're gonna file them off, which is gonna ruin the effect of the nail. Another thing to bear in mind when you are encapsulating is that you're building up the correct strength and structure for your nail. So make sure that you've got your apex in place and that you've got the correct thickness for the nail. If I find that once I've covered the entire nail, I have any areas that are a little bit uneven or a little bit too thin, I'll come in with another bead of acrylic just to make sure I've got a nice smooth layer down. I then encapsulated the remaining two nails off camera and a great way to tell whether you've fully encapsulated your glitters is they look quite matte and dull once you have encapsulated. So I then also off camera gave the nails a file buff and wiped over them with some acetone to remove all of the dust. And we're now gonna come in and apply our Tinkerbell Fairy Nail Art Charm. So I love the charms from Charlie's Nail Art because rather than being flat, they have a slight curve to them. So they sit very nicely on the arch of your nail, especially when you're working on acrylic nails and you've built up an apex. So to apply my charm today, I'm gonna to be using some jewelry gel. So I've made sure, like I said, that I filed all my nail and I'm happy with how my acrylic nail is. And then I've made sure to wipe over it with some acetone so that it's free from any dust or dirt that might have picked up on the surface of the nail. Then I'm coming in with my jewelry gel. So I'm just gonna apply my jewelry gel where I want my charm to go. So I'm not applying it to the entire nail. Now there's different ways to use the jewelry gel. So it does depend on the brand that you're using or your preferred method. This is how I like to use it when I'm just applying a single charm to the nail. So whilst that jewelry gel is still wet, I'm gonna come over it with my top coat. So I find that the top coat helps smooth out the jewelry gel rather than having the harsh edges from it. And it also means that the nail has already been top coated, so you haven't got to top coat around your charm, which can be a little bit fiddly. So whilst that jewelry gel and top coat is still wet, I'm gonna place my charm down into place. And then I'm just coming in again with my top coat brush and going around that just to make sure it really smooths out the jewelry gel underneath and helps seal in the charm. Then I'm gonna pop this in for a double cure. So rather than curing it for 60 seconds, I'm gonna cure it for 120, just to make sure that, that all of that gel has cured in place and it's gonna hold that charm on nicely. So whilst that's curing, I'm gonna come in and top coat the remaining two nails. So this is where we're gonna bring back all the sparkles to those beautiful glitters. Just applying a nice thin layer of top coat and then I'm gonna pop these in to cure and we're ready to take a look at the final design. 
I really hope you all enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up and leave us a comment below. If you haven't already subscribed to the Charlie's Nala YouTube channel, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. As I said at the start, all of the products and discount code I have will be in the description box below. So do check that out. Thank you all so much for watching. Take care. Lots of love. Bye bye. Thank you.